first. Welcome, welcome, welcome with you and Chat and Yanalu. Thank you guys for coming back. This is my second guest. We have Little Miss Queen here, guys, and she is an amazing young lady. Y'all know Yanalu loves amazing, delicious, and scrumptious. How you love me now? Uh. So Queen is going to come on here tonight, guys. She is um, part of the youth uh, arena, and she's talking about how her life is diving into this movie that we're going to put her in today and it's talking about abortion but we're having her as a youth talk about the importance of being aware of um, relationships and her life about being bullied at school and not being bullied at school things that she likes to do as a youth and her diving into her talents because this young lady is diving into a movie that patrick and i are putting together um, and we wanted to bring her on here just so you can meet Miss Queen before she go on the big screen because the girl is popping. <laughs> so without further ado, let's talk to Miss Queen. <laughs> hey, Miss Queen. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, so listen, Queen, I wanted to bring you on because I wanted to share everybody how beautiful you are and how talented you are. Tell them how old you are. I'm 13. She's 13. She's 13. So let's tell them about what you're getting ready to do. You're getting ready to be one of the shorts that we're doing right yes. and how do you feel about getting involved in this movie is guys the movie is about abortion and it's about a young lady um, becoming pregnant and at that time she's going to have an abortion well she wants to she goes to the clinic basically and yada 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 the doctor wants to talk her out of it but Miss Queen feels she has her own right and her own body to do and say as she pleases without informing anybody what's going on but we'll dive into a little bit more so now Queen tell me how you feel about playing the part of this movie and why did you want to play the part of this movie um let's think about that <laughs> it's like, i don't have an immediate answer so like not like okay well <laughs> it's so cute yeah she's shy but it's okay but she's really good when it comes behind that camera we're filming i mean like what i what i think about it it's like it's something i definitely like wouldn't want to get into real young like getting pregnant and stuff i can't do that i can't i could barely handle my sister that's that's enough <laughs> Okay. So you can barely under your sister. Mm -hmm. Now your sister's a little creative bunny that we had on here and she sings and she writes and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So being um, pregnant and being a youth, that's not something you want. So we wanted to bring you on so you can talk about why not to be pregnant and why to stay a youth and why, you know, the beautiful things of being a kid. So uh, what is what is important to you as being a youth? What is important to you in life right now? It's focus on my education. My dad makes it very clear that I need to focus on completely my education at this age right now. So Yeah, what's some of the I'm trying things? more to get more focused on that. Yeah, you are. What's the favorite thing you like about school? About school? <sighs> or how to tell the truth, is that one of the things you like? Is school something you like? Or what, mm. what's, what's your favorite thing? I mean, my connection to classes that I'm not really like doing the active work. What, what classes are you taking connections? I have career class and I have gym. Ah. So what about career that you like? Career class, it's like a lot. I feel like he just gets off task so easily. Like we'll be talking about skills and then how the earth is flat. Mm -hmm. It don't make no sense. But and, and you're not putting the two and two together? Not really. Now when it comes to acting, I know we caught you at a prime time in your life. When it comes to acting, what about acting um, that you like and what prompted you to want to be acting? Is it something just to, for you to step out inside or something you should try? What about acting do you like? Um, it's... Hmm. <laughs> she's so cute, guys. Her mama in the audience, y'all. She's so cute. What you like about acting? Um, it's not that I don't like. It's just like it's not really for me. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. I mean, I I, I try. I, I'm open to things. It's just like it's something that's not something that I would like see myself doing in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really it. Now we have you in the movie, so you know the beautiful part you being playing in this movie. Your 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 character is wonderful, and the way you are in the movie, it's wonderful. And you know your acting skills are great. And guys, you would think that you know, like she said, acting is not really her. But when you see her actually in the form of doing her thing, that is what is amazing. So how do you turn the two off and on when it's not really your thing, but when you go into it, this is your thing. So how do you? Play between the two. It's just about being focused, really, in your mindset. Mm -hmm. It's like when I get focused on something, I'm like in it completely. Okay. Like, see, like writing, I'm good at writing. I just have to be like in it. Because yeah. at first, I'll just like write two words and I'll be done. Okay. But if I really like think about it, the whole essay done within an hour. Wow. Okay. So what's your favorite thing? What do you like writing about? 
Um, I mean, I write like about my day sometimes in my book. I don't like write like a lot really. I like if something happens that's interesting, I'm gonna write about it okay. and then close my book and go to sleep. Now, did you find yourself wanting to write later in life, like write movies or write books, or is it just like something for you inner your your own personal self to keep your journal? Yeah, my own person. Just, your own so I'm just like a journal. hobby, yeah. So now, Queen, tell me what is it that you like to do? Given the fact that you're the new character of this movie we're about to film, we want to dive in and learn what does Miss Queen like to do on a day to day? Walk me through your day. Okay, so I really am trying to focus more on um, practicing my nails. So I'm trying to, I'm not I'm trying to be. I want to um, do nails in the future. I want to become a nail tech. I want to do, like like I said, do nails. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to practice, get better with it. My mom said I need to like, work on the shape of it, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to do that. Um, what else, really? Um, I go outside sometimes. I yeah. take my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it seems, guys, that she really not liking to drag this baby sister. Now, you, she loves her sister, and her sister is absolutely adorable. Her and her mom and her sister, they look like triplets. I'm telling you, just a gorgeous family, just hands down. But now, being a young lady, being a teenager, what are some things about being a teenager that you feel like, I don't want my sister around. I'm, I'm, I'm growing into my own little age. I want my own space. So how does that how does that play out for you? It feels like she's always like behind me, like she's my shadow. But at the same time, I get it because I was just like that. Mm -hmm. Like I was just, I was always by my older sisters just all the time. I just wanted to be them, live in their skin with them. Yeah. Um, she just follows me around everywhere. Like I'll get on the game. She's like, I want to play. And then she'll beg mom. She'll be like, mommy, queen's not letting me play. And then I have to play with her for the rest of the night now. Right. And so you really can't get your game going on because mm -hmm. you got to take care of sissy. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you had some time by yourself and, and there was no sissy, what are some things that you would be doing, queen? I'd be doing, mainly I... Like, if you like seeing by myself, I'm probably going to be, like, on the phone with my friends, talking to my friends. I talk to my friends a lot, honestly. Okay. When I'm not with them. Okay, okay. Now, is your friend base because you just being just typical friends or it feels like this is an outing for you? Or you guys, you and your friends, you guys fight a lot? Or are you just really, really super close? What do you and your friends do? I'm really super close. I have, like, honestly... Three real friends okay. that I would actually like claim as my real friends. People, Other people are just associates. I don't claim them as my real friends. <laughs> okay. They're just associates. Okay. Somebody you can just hang out with and talk to on a day-to-day -day or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, your friends, are they in the same thing that you do? Do they like the same thing that you do? Or do you guys share your differences to build your friendship? Or you guys just on the same wavelength are doing the same thing? How is that friendship? I have one of my friends, we have similar interests. Like, we both want to um, learn how to do our nails. We both have nail stuff. We're working on it. Um, we're also practicing braiding hair. It's not really something I see myself doing, but I want to learn how to do it just like I could do my own hair. I have all this hair. I don't do anything with it. Okay. So I want to learn how to do that for my own personal benefit. But I don't really have similar interests with um, my other friends, but we do get along. Y'all do get along? Yeah. Okay, okay. I like the fact that you um, stepped outside of the box and you wanted to play the character of the young lady within the movie because, you know, it's a lot of stuff like that going on. And I love the fact that your parents dove into it. And we actually fought for this position for you, right? We, we were like in the back fighting for it. I thank you for that because it brings awareness that children need to basically stay in a child's place, but at the same time... Um, explored the fact that we have rights out here. So in playing this role, did anything, did any, did it make you feel any certain type of way playing a young girl, getting ready to go into a clinic to maybe possibly to get ready to abort a baby? Did that make you feel any type of way? Or did you feel like a proud person to play a, a part of a movie to talk to kids about what we should and should not do? How did that role make you feel when you said, yes, you do that role? It made me like feel some of both of what you said. So um, like you said about like raising awareness, other people need to know about that, how to just stay in their place. Basically, nobody's really ready for that until like, you're never really ready, honestly. But I don't, I don't know anything about that, honestly. I don't right. mind. Um, what else made me realize I'm not, I'm not ready at all, and I won't be for like a little bit. My dad said fine at 45, but oh. no, anytime soon. <laughs> No, you can't dance to you 45. You can't have kids to you 45. He said no, no, not even a piercing until I'm 45. Not even, well, you know, I like it. So what do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Um, he just don't want me to grow up. That's how I feel about it. He don't want, you to he don't want me to grow up yet. No, he don't want anybody to grow up. So you're close. Are you, are you a mama's girl, daddy's girl, or both? Both. You're both girls. I really like your family. I've had an opportunity to, you know, talk to mom, interview mom, dad, and sister. You actually have an awesome family. 
you know, um, and I like the way that you guys play together. I like to see you and your sister together. Now let's talk about bullying. How is, how is the bullying in your school? And I know you don't like bullying and you, you talk against bullying, but how is it when it comes to you seeing somebody being pushed around? What does that make you feel, you know, when you see another student being bullied? I don't like that. It's because you wouldn't like that if it was happening to you. Something happened earlier in gym, but no, it wasn't even a gym, it was in my career class. So the, the kids though with the special needs, they're in our connections class. Mm -hmm. And this boy, he just kept, oh, talking to this kid, tell him, shut up. And then he just kept saying, oh, turn around, being mean to her. I'm like, stop doing that. That's that's not even cute. Right. <laughs> and then like, it's not even cute at all. He was like, Anari, turn around. I don't, I don't want you to look at me. I'm like, just don't yell at her, just be nice. You know, she doesn't know better. She's just trying to talk and have like, she talks, but she doesn't talk to anybody else. Right. They all give me high fives, bye Quinn, as oh. soon as they leave the class. I mean, they're so sweet. That's why I just thought, I don't like them yelling at them, because they're right. so sweet. Bullying is just not the way to go, mm -hmm. right? You know, basically, Queen, what bullying is, it's an insecure person that has been hurt and doesn't know how to channel their anger. So they try to take it out on somebody that they see that is feeling just as low as them. And that's all it is. And nine times out of 10, a bully just needs love. That's all it is. Or you just give them something to do. So that's what it is. Now, what is in the future besides the nails? I know you like the nails. So what are some things? Have you designed nails? I mean, like, have you designed nails? Have you um, started doing your own thing? Do you know what you're going to call your nail place? Like, I do not What's not your yet. big dreams for the nails? What's your ending goal? Um, my ending goal? I want to, like... I want to run my own business like my dad does. Okay. So I like in my career class, I like it. Okay, so in the beginning we had this thing called a brain spark. There was one of them was like, oh, um, who's your role work model? No, work role model. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, work role model. And um, I guess it was like a trick question. So everybody was saying like celebrities and people that like work, and I had put my dad, and I was like one of the only like few people who had got that right because I do look up to him. He owns his own business, but he's like the face of it. my mom. He definitely helped my dad get there. Mm -hmm. He put she played a big part in that. Okay. But yeah, I put him down because I want to run my own business. I don't want to work for anybody else. Mm -hmm. I, I think not. that is amazing. I like the way how she paid homage to both of her parents, guys. So listen, when it comes to these children, make sure that you're putting the time into them because in order for her to pay homage to both of her kids um, both of her parents that means that both of them have to be active in, in in your life and so you have a pretty good home life I like that guys I wanted you to meet this young lady because I'm putting a spotlight on her she stepped up to the plate and she decided to play a role that was um, outside of what the typical 15 or 16 year old child would play and um, we wanted to bring some awareness on you Miss Queen and I'm so grateful for you playing that and, and stepping Stepping into play with us with that because a lot of young people, um, they're out here, like you said, they're out here and they're diving into things that they shouldn't and they're having, they're becoming parents. And I like the fact that you're very humble and you're staying to yourself and you're minding your own business and you're staying in your teenage lane. I don't want to say a kid's lane because you're a teenager and you're staying in your lane. So is there, what, what is there fun outside like your hobbies that you like to do? Is there anything that you like to do outside of like your nails? What is something that you like to do for your hobbies as i said uh, i like i go to the park like on weekends when she says i can um but i like, I like to go to the park uh if i'm not inside on the game mm -hmm. um like i said i do talk to my friends a lot it's really the same three well two because the other one don't answer the phone mm -hmm. but yeah i'm with my friends on like every other weekend um yeah not every other weekend, but like some weekends. Some weekends. Some weekends. Some weekends. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anything that, that people don't know about you that you want them to know about you? Or is there any, do you have social media? Are you allowed to be on TikTok and things like that? Guys, she's about to be the next star. So we had to bring this baby on here because this face is fixing to be all over APAP Media with this little short that's going to turn into a big movie and it's going to be phenomenal because she's so poised, she's so humble and she's still in her teenage youth and her childlike ways and that's why I wanted to put the spotlight on her to step up and kudos to you queen for stepping up playing a big part in a big movie, you know what I'm saying bringing awareness to the youth, so how do you feel before we close this thing, how do you feel being the limelight of something so big like that um, I can't put it in words honestly, I really can't 
<laughs> She's so cute. I just, I don't know what to say. Let me tell y'all something. Kids say the darndest things that is so funny to me because sometimes some of the stuff they say, they're so grown up and so as a matter of fact, and I love it. Like, I, I just can't put it into words. She's so shy, guys. Really well, honey, I love it. Her. Do you have social media that you can tell them to look at you and take a look at your stuff and see what you're doing? Um, There's Kid Creations. That's on Instagram. Kid Creations? Okay, guys, go on Kid Creations and, and take a look at Kid Creations because that's what Miss Queen is. With the K, Kid with, Creations. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Creations, Kid creations with, with a K. K. Go ahead and tell them to them, girls. Look in the camera and tell them. K-I-D-K-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-S. Kid Creations. Y'all make sure y'all go on and check um, out Miss Queen at Kid Creations. I definitely want you to patronize her. And let me tell you something. Parents, dive into your kids. The mother and the father fought for her to play this part in this movie, which I absolutely love because it's going to bring awareness to a lot of parents and a lot of kids. Spend time with your kids, right, Queen? Spend time with your kids. I think if you spend time with your family, it keeps you from doing a lot of different stuff that, you know, allow people to get into. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Is there anything you want to say to your friends? Tell someone, get us some shout outs and tell your teachers and all that good stuff? Mm, let's just go with teachers. Because, uh, shout out to Miss Davis, Miss Oliver, and Miss Hale. My favorite and what about teachers. your friends? You got some friends? My friends, we're going to go with Jordan, Brianna, and Salo. Uh oh, Brianna. Okay. Guys, we have had fun down here with you and Chat with Yana Lou. I love it. We have Miss Queen down here. I want you to look for her coming up at APAP Media with this short. And again, Tap into Mad Creations. We're getting ready to close out. We have some great guests coming up next week. But right now, we're going to tap into Nightcap with Yana Lou. We're going to go over here with Dre and Big Dog and do some wonderful things. So, Miss Queen, I just want to thank you for coming out. Guys, she is shy, but she is on point, and she's amazing at what she does. And also, tell them your mom's social media. Mom's social media. Um, Diamond Details. That's, oh. the, that's the work one. We're going to get Diamond to work Diamond Details one. is the work one. We got her in the audience. Mom, what's your other, what's your other social media? Um, <clears throat> Talia, T-A-L-I-A-H dot Sade, S-A-D-E. Talia dot Sade. Instagram. Instagram. Go on there. This whole family is amazing, guys. I love having you down. I thank you for coming down, talking to Miss Yana Lou, letting them know that she's getting ready to be all over the screen of APAP Media, and we are supporting her, and it is a wonderful opportunity to have a youth come down and play such a strong and mighty role, and I tell you, just support, support, support. We will see you next week with Big Back Live 5 and 2.5 with Yana Lou. And